I hate to admit it. Thank God. <laughs> so afraid to get angry. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kenny. In today's video <clears throat> is a classic What's in My Bag featuring my newest addition to the collection. It's my Louis Vuitton Tobago shoe bag from 2006. So if you are interested on what's in this, I would say massive daily bag. So this is kind of my work bag as well. So if you wanted to know, if you're nosy enough to know the contents of this bag, um, please continue watching the video. But to anyone who has just tuned in to my channel, hello, my name is Kenny. I do these kind of videos, like majority is luxury related unboxings and reviews and so i would like for you to consider subscribing to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and the bell button to notify of, the, of all the videos that i do create so yeah welcome back guys um please relax sit down um make your coffee while listening to me <clears throat> or your cup of tea with your biscuits um or a cookie or a cupcake so yeah while going through the contents of the bag <clears throat> but i before i go through that i just wanted to say i hate to admit it but this bag is an instant winner because i have not stopped using this i feel like <clears throat> it's been like two weeks it has been a fortnight since unboxing this and this is my dedicated work bag slash kind of daily bag as well when I'm going out which is like <clears throat> so unlike me normally when I go out I don't reach for big bags but it's just it's mind-blowing to me it's surprising it's shocking in a way because <clears throat> I'm never I've never been a top handle kind of guy I'm normally a crossbody shoulder bag kind of guy and especially for work <clears throat> and I use public transport mind you and lugging around a bag without an option to shoulder bag it would be kind of a fuzzy bag but it wasn't the case um, so yeah I hate to admit it but this is a banger I love it to pieces <sighs> I've been really good like trying not to buy too much bags but I actually bought this because I thought it is a good uh, priced bag to resell but then when things kind of work out in your favor they kind of just stay so this is an epitome of that so yeah so hence we're doing this video um, so I wanted to show you again how this bag looks like and it's basically a shoe bag. Um, yeah, so it has, it is in this navy color in the pebbled grained leather. I am not sure of what exact, what the exact name of this leather in the Louis Vuitton terminology, but I adore it. It's super thick and it's, I mean, this reminds me a lot of OG Louis Vuitton. The, the Louis Vuitton that I know from back then. And yeah, it's just a massive um, black hole inside, basically. It does have this covering at the top, which has a snap button, which you could like cover up whatever contents you have in your bag. So... So how I actually worked with this bag is by putting it at the crook of my arm and I just kind of like that too. It's, it, I mean, I'll be honest, it's not the most comfortable but because I don't carry a lot but yeah, <laughs> if you do carry a lot, it would be very heavy obviously but <clears throat> For work, I don't, I mean, I try not to stuff it with too much items in it, so it would be, it's not as cumbersome, but yeah, I, I, I really, I'm like so converted um, 
into this like top handle only bag and in a way because I've been thinking about the Hermes Birkin so I feel like I could actually work that bag out it's just that the price is too much um, for me but yeah so that is that um, with that out of the way I would go through the contents of the bag uh, mind you this is a little bit more than usual that I would carry because I'm going in between two locations at the moment so there are some like miscellaneous stuff that I would not normally carry on a daily basis so yes right um okay I have got this it's not a chopstick box this is a utensil box um, basically a spoon and fork and I don't trust the utensils at work so it's gr a good idea that you have a personal one um, you know just in case you need it all right um, so I've got a water bottle I just recently got this um, we were having like a window shopping across Fitzroy um, I came across this from a bookshop of all places and it's silicone made of silicon it's from a brand called Kinto Japan so I just love it I <clears throat> also like I don't like using cups that so yeah I carry this every day and it's a great size it's not too massive and I can just pop it on basically any bag a uh, med medium sized bag that I have so yeah that comes in handy Um, yeah, I do love this. It's my favorite um, alcohol sanitizer spray from the Philippines. It's from the brand called Clean. And I just love that it's not drying. It doesn't strip off your natural oils on your hand. Um, so yeah, I do love that. I wish that I have stocked up on this. Um, but yeah, I could always come back to the Philippines. Um, okay, so next one is this is actually my like kind of body lotion, but I used a an empty Neutrogena cream. I used this to recycle, and basically I just decantered it into this. So yeah, just to save, you know, and also for zero waste management. I, my coin purse from Oraton, which was a present from friends a few Christmases ago. Uh, yeah, okay. So I haven't been using a lot of my luxury like wallets. So this is a zip pouch from Oraton. And I just don't bother with it. I can just stuff actually literally anything on this. So I got my, I got a lot of receipts coffee cards, bank cards, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, a lot of coffee cards actually. Um, yeah. So I got coffee cards from Celine's and this is a coffee shop, state cafe, cafe Stazione, Stazione, which is another go-to coffee shop near uh, my workplace. So yeah. That is that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why my Chanel card holder is in this Ziploc. I probably have popped that inside it and I just couldn't remember. So this is where I keep my bills and a few more bank cards that I don't reach for a lot. Just in case I would need it. So <laughs> I just don't know why this is in the Ziploc. So I probably should use this. For these next few items, I actually have a toothbrush that should be there and a dental floss. Right, good. Um, okay, that's my name badge at work. That's my real name. I don't want to be called Kenny, actually, I, will, I prefer be, to be called Ken, alright? You guys, I have a pink salmon wild caught in spring water 
from Kohl's. <clears throat> Just in case I forget to bring a snack or for dinner, I have something to munch on. So yeah. Just in case of emergency. That comes in handy actually. Alright, so I have been receiving quite a bit of like appreciation for this scent. Uh, a lot of people at work especially compliment me on this. This is a replica from Margella. So this is Coffee Break. So I've been really in into this brand and this range of perfumes because it reminds you a lot of a certain memory back in time. Um, if you do try to attach a scent um, into your memory so yeah it's such a cool idea and i do love this it, it's not like a literally coffee but it has a lot of creaminess to it it reminds you a lot of like a creamy a milky coffee kind of thing so yeah i do love that there's so much stuff in here actually i have my trusty umbrella so this is a present from a good friend at work so this is actually from i think this is from the dior cause ngv national gallery of victoria kind of a collaboration souvenir and i love it i actually use this a lot <clears throat> and knowing melbourne weather if you if you ever want to come over here in australia and especially in melbourne i would suggest you always bring with you an umbrella because literally weather can just change like a light switch it just it's just the way it is <laughs> although we're still at the top um top 10 of the most livable cities this is kind of this is kind of a worst uh <laughs> thing in Melbourne like weather changes literally every second so my Ray-Ban sunglasses I don't lose it right, for some reason I've got a pair of socks <laughs> I actually like this it's from Kos I have <laughs> a face mask this is the Hydro Boost from Neutrogena And there's so much stuff in here, seriously. My AirPods with that pouch that I got from Samorga. And I have got my vitamins. Just in case I forget to take it, I have that. So I have my watch. This is from Triva, a Swedish brand. And I kind of, I received quite a bit of compliments on this. Because it's like a dive watch but it's not crazy expensive what else panadol of course i have this serum from beauty of joseon and it's a revived serum ginseng and snail mucin um i should probably pop this on my vanity because i i should it should be there it's not shouldn't be on this bag so I got gums because I drink a lot of coffee just to get rid of the coffee breath. You guys, I am seriously telling you, I am so afraid to get hungry. They always have like snacks, mandarins and this banana. Actually, this was given to me by another staff member. <laughs> Wow, there's so much junk. <laughs> Raisins. My lens cleaner. And I'm surely would tell you guys there are some stuff here that I've been looking for that I would probably discover right now. I have an instant coffee just in case. I. I run late at work and I just need an extra boost that comes in really really handy and a bunch of a bunch of pens 
All right, so if some of my friends are watching this video, you probably, your pens would probably be one on this bunch. So yeah, just let me know if you see it and I'll give it back to you. Because, <laughs> I don't know, they just, yeah, I just steal pens. And the doctors steal pens for me, so it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Uh, see, like these L'Occitane, this I've been looking for for my from my other bags. Cause my lips are so dry, and I'm almost finished with a. I'm so I'm almost finished with this uh, hand cream. I do love L'Occitane, but I just don't like the scent of this. But the lip balm I do love. I have my trusty notebook from Moleskin. Um, I don't try to buy a notebook every year, but I go through this for a few years. So this is basically where I note down mostly my YouTube uh, video ideas. <clears throat> but also I do sometimes journal with this. Uh, I do also journal I do I because sometimes I also do journaling using this notebook just when I'm so overwhelmed with stuff on, on my brain which just keeps going and going like you guys it's so hard to be an adult literally I think about everything which most of the time you can't you can't do anything about it actually and it's just you're it's just spinning around your head and it kind of helps just to not to jot down notes of whatever you're thinking about and just looking at it staring blankly without you know even doing anything about it but it does help actually just to jot everything down kind of stuff and i do love moleskin and i've just gone through my other notebook and this one i love i love the um dog's to hound's tooth wasn't it Houndstooth, Houndstooth print. So that's that. What else is here? We're almost finished. Okay, so I got my Hermes double tour Kelly bracelet in, is it the Python or is it a Python? I don't know, this is not a Python, it's lizard. I think I've used this the other day and I forgot to put it back and it's all scratched up now because of that. I hate when things get scratched up. But what do you do? You use this. And I think that is pretty much it. Oh my god. <sighs> I have another coffee here. I've been looking for my instant coffees and if, of course right it's when you do these kind of videos that you kind of rediscover what's actually inside your bag and plus there's a lot more because they're just like rubbish literally rubbish kind of receipts ketchup there's ketchup is it ketchup no it's not a ketchup it's high chews it's such a mess and it's kind of embarrassing, but that is the contents on my newest baby. <sighs> I don't know if I could part ways with it. I probably shouldn't because I do love this bag. <laughs> For now, it shall stay in the collection. And if you have other questions about this bag or anything uh, regarding the contents of this, it's not too interesting. But I would like to thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope this was in interesting, entertaining enough. But yeah, thank you guys. Today, I here I am again saying thank you for the end time. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on my next one. You take care and please do know that I love you and I care. Bye.